Massive has four oscillators. Three are audible, and the fourth can manipulate certain aspects of the other three. Although we will create a separate sub-bass instrument later on, it's worth starting with a lower sound to put the instrument in the right frequency context. To create some low end, you can set oscillator 1 to sine square or sine triangle from the basic wave menu. The wavetable position dial will crossfade between a pure sine wave on the left and a triangle or square wave respectively to the right. Set it to pure sine wave to start so it has minimal overtones. You can change this later after creating more texture using oscillators 2 and 3. If you hear a clicking noise as you play a MIDI note, look at the amplifier's ADSR settings. Standing for attack, decay, sustain and release, this envelope can control different parameters over the time taken to press, hold and then release a MIDI note. By default, envelope 4 is assigned to the amp control, making it modulate the volume of the amp. You can confirm this visually from the blue number 4 in the amp mod slot. As the amp is placed after the insert effects and filters, this modulation allows you to maintain tight control over the volume as each note is played. By lowering the attack time, it will take longer for the amp to rise to full volume again slightly softening the start of each note and removing the click at the start. At the opposite end, if you lower the release time, it will take longer for the volume to drop to zero again. This should remove the click at the end of each note played too. The attack, decay and sustain elements are all related to a MIDI note being held down. After the maximum value of the attack setting has been reached, the next stage is the sustain level. The time it takes to get there is determined by the decay setting. The envelope will remain at the sustain level until the MIDI note is released, and then the release will bring the volume back to zero again, at a speed determined by the release setting. For a punchy start to your bass, change the sustain level to zero, and move the decay time until each note sounds like a short, punchy drum. Then change the sustain level to around 3 quarters, making the punch element just fractionally louder than the sustain level. The other way to guarantee less clicks is to sync the start of each oscillator's shape with each note played by clicking the restart via gate option under the OS tab. Turn up the amp control for oscillator 2. Scroll through new wavetables while playing MIDI notes to audition each one. It wants to have a clear musical note to it like the first, but with more harmonics to make it sound noisy and cut through other elements in the song. Then change the octave up and down and audition which octave is best. With a noisier wavetable, you can create a dramatic change using the WT position control. In spectrum mode, a lower intensity setting serves only to dull these rich frequencies, so leave this at full for now. Oscillator 3 can be the same, slightly varied or vastly different to oscillator 2. I like to choose something very filthy to go on top of an already solid sound. After choosing the next wavetable, change the intensity mode to one of the bend options and the sound will suddenly have a scope of tones that could be tweaked using the intensity amount. This alters the playback speed of the oscillator's wavetable, so it gains a richer, more harmonic sound. Another option is to change the intensity mode to formant, making intensity changes now vowel-like and resonant when static. Try to remember any parameters that sounded interesting when in motion, as this will be useful later on.
Having one noisy oscillator in a low octave can help towards a gritty and raspy bass sound. Having one or two in a high octave can give you a cheeky, almost jump up sounding tone. Detuning oscillators by a fine amount will make them out of tune with each other. Keeping the amounts unrelated will result in uglier, out of tune tones. Rebalance the volume of each oscillator every now and then to get the best overall tone. The modulation oscillator has a few different ways to modulate the first three oscillators. The most sound shaping and relevant in this tutorial is phase modulation. Similar in sound to frequency modulation, it can be applied to oscillator 1, 2 or 3 with a varied amount. Select phase, move the amount halfway and then select each oscillator while deciding which creates the most interesting change. Then change the mod oscillator by octave for more extreme changes, deciding which sounds best before tweaking the amount to apply. A fine detune to this oscillator can also create a more unpleasant sound. You will find that tweaking the following aspects of your oscillators will help you change a sound into a completely new direction when needed on any given patch. Wavetable position, intensity control while in bend or formant modes, oscillator octave, oscillator detuning, and phase modulation amount and octave.